Hello everybody and welcome back, I'm Count Cristo and this is the Roman Reclamation Campaign. Thank you ever so much for joining me. We are busily gaining ourselves a nice little piece of the Silk Road over here, getting access to the Baku trade. Marvellous. We've got some nice eastern border prettification, beautification, It's a much better way of putting that, to, uh, to do here. Oh, sorry guys. Didn't mean to leave you hanging down there. We got 624, a thousand manpower, which is a little insane. Manpower gets a lot higher in Mayo and Taxes than it does in Vanilla. So, we'll go here. Oh, that's an awkward way around. We'll just wait for the, uh... Excuse me? Could you? Thank you. We'll just wait for this fort to, fort, fort to fall, and then we'll siege the northern area. Where was that siege one? Where the heck was that siege one? We just... There's no one standing on an occupied siege. I'm confused. Where are you standing? Down here. Well, that's not it. Huh. No idea. Anyway, in this episode, I expect we will finish off this war. And the... Well, these two wars, but really it's just one. And then we will do a quick war against the Jalarids. Might do that right now. I guarantee by these guys, though. So I know I want to deploy my full force against them. Uh, you, good sir, get re-annexed into the glorious Roman Empire. No one is allowed to declare independence from us. Anyone that declares independence from us will be put on a cross. Do do do. Anyway, then we will go... S Ooh, nice, more Coptic shifting. Siege of Baku's over. Fabulous. More cause in... Uh, in Iraq? Not yet. More roads, please. More roads. Is that building a road? No. More roads. Beautiful. We could start building some roads with manpower, but I need the uh, the mill points for now. Don't want to take school teachers ahead of time. Next year we'll take that. If I remember which, let's face it. I won't. <laughs> We're not going to take much from the Dolaris in this war. We will take all of Arabia. But not yet, because the communication efficiency gain down here is going to be really tough. What I think we're probably going to do is uh, build a big road down here to cover this area. And then another big road from here. It will go here, 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 and then down here. That should work to allow us to uh, communicate with Arabia without it all, all going to heck. Do, do, do. If you have ideas, by the way, about who I should play my tour campaign as and who I should play my uh, World Conquest campaign as, do let me know. Ming is not an option for the World Conquest, by the way. We've played Ming. It was interesting. <laughs> uh, you start too big and it's, it's not as fun. I think. It was fun, but I think it would be more fun to start smaller. I think starting as someone titchy in Italy and then doing, like doing a World Conquest as Pisa or Lucca. <laughs> I think that'd be great. Do, do. Okay. Rebels, some Sunni fanatics. They're definitely going to rise up. How many of them? Should say on this screen, but doesn't. Only 19,000. In fact, those were the 19,000 were the, uh, the Russian ones. Not sure how many we actually have. Don't need these forts anymore. Versions, lovely. Ooh, we've got some loot burdens. We must have taken quite a bit out of there. Holy Christ. Yeah, we've taken a lot of loot recently. Nice. I think I will keep the loot rolling and go on, go on to my next war. We'll take the risk. 10% chance. Never. No. When, when is the 10% chance ever fired? Nice. Chevron won't help, of course. Uh, we will do Roman Imperialism. Just to keep me honest on making this eastern border pretty. So did they join? They did indeed. Let's go straight into the Desert Mountains. Fear not. Roman armor is fierce, precisely designed. Ooh, what's this? Deserters. Moral armor is minus 10. Oh, that's not good. Execute the religious leader. The doctrine of pacifism. Ugh. Fine. We'll have some pacifists in our army. Some deserters. Ugh. Disgusting. We should... As with, uh, who were they putting on a cross earlier? <laughs> Can't remember. But pacifists, 
also go on the cross. Shivaran. I would like all this bit, please. So this is actually outside the old Roman borders. Going to the game, fair enough. I would like a bit of this. So we will probably do another war and gain a little bit extra of this territory. I think, uh, well, that is not a very pretty border, is it? How about up to here and then here? Like here, here, here looks good to me, I think. If we take, if we take this province, oh here, yeah, that province, that province, that province. If we take this area, that looks good. But for now, we're mostly interested in this northern region, the cash, the war reps, Lot of cash. Darn. Can't take trade power. That's alright. We can make them return land to the Jalirids. <laughs> return all this land to the Jalirids, and then I'll take it off the Jalirids. I can't, because I, I Roman imperialism against the Jalirids, didn't I? Never mind. Break your alliances. Yoink! Beautiful. Look at that. Fantastic. You guys can come here. You guys can keep going south. We have much... Oh, right. This is a... Oh, no. That's not a... It looks a lot like a wasteland tile, but that's actually not. I was going to say we're not going to be able to... Lost if it's minimal. Cool. We've delivered some of the loot. I was going to say we're not going to be able to build a road through there if we have to actually colonize it. I'm not taking colonization ideas. Who do you think we are? Granada? So, from you, all I would like is these three. See, that border looks pretty... That looks pretty to me. Yeah, that's all I'd like. No. Come now. Be reasonable. If you don't give me this, I will, you know, burn you to the ground, loot, destroy, pillage, etc. The usual drill. I'm gonna... No, on, the, on admin ideas, you should, on, on ones you should always do it. On Mill and Diplo, I'm gonna start being a bit more cautious, so we get less... Uh, less inflation. Because I do tend to end up buying down inflation. And I don't value um, Diplo point. I don't think a Diplo point is worth half an admin point, which is how much it costs if you do that event the other way. Actually, it's slightly less than half an admin point. It's like 0.4 of an admin point because you can you get 0.5 uh, inflation and you can buy that down with 50 admin or 44 in our case. Let's keep it 50. Uh, the difference in, in points is 40. So when the event fires twice, you can buy it down. So you gain 80 points and it costs you 50. So, yeah. It's not definitely not worth it, I think, for Diplo points. For mill points, sometimes. But really, do you think my military situation is uh, is pressing right now? I mean, you might need your head examined <laughs> if you think we're in a militarily dangerous position. Someone was complaining about my war with France because it means there's no longer any threat to us. But, like, isn't that the idea? <laughs> I, don't, I don't go into these campaigns looking to make it harder for myself. Uh, people complained about that in my Black Ice campaign as well. They're like, oh, you're just conquering everything. It's like, well, yeah. <laughs> that's the idea, isn't it? <laughs> I get that's not how some people play these games, but, you know, I like I like conquering stuff. Have we already burnt down the Cabal? If we haven't, we're about to do it. Let's see if it's a choice. Uh, no, I think we already did it. It's been a long series, you know. If you if you've somehow not noticed, it's very difficult to know where the next province is. I guess we'll just go from here. When you can't really see, <laughs> it's very awkward. That. Tech, please. Head of time, more production efficiency. Beautiful. All right, keep the roads coming. The road to Baghdad will be established. Straight through the desert. No problems. All roads need to roam after all. Is there a province here? I think those are connecting over there. Is there a province down here we can get to? I think that's just there. So it doesn't look like it. You guys can start to go back home then. There's very little loot. Well, there's pretty loot to be had down here. Uh, not, not much. They've just had a famine. Alright, we'll probably get out of this then. If there's no loot to be had, what are we even doing? I don't really need trade power. Alright. Marvellous. Yoink. Look at that eastern border. Beautiful. Beautiful. But for purposes of trade, uh, we will push it slightly further than historical. 
I apologize to those of you that are historical border nuts. I, uh, I respect your right to have an opinion, but I disagree. I think it's more important to take the border that's most strategically valuable than to, in my opinion, waste time worrying about having exactly the historical borders. Especially if the borders still look pretty. Which I think they will. So, there, we got uh, 4,500 ducats. Nice. Uh, sure, let's put it in the court. Put a bunch of it in the court. So, the court did, had trended down substantially. Let's give it some more funding. Another 50 ducats. And drop the funding. Okay. Uh, so, did I put all you guys in coalition range? Yes, but not by the time the truce ends. Marvellous. Entirely coincidentally as well. Shivran will be. That's unsurprising. Jalirids and Fars, though, will not. Excellent. Disability improves. Darn it. Should have revoked a privilege. No matter. So, with that loot, we shall continue the Grand... What is this province? And the Grand Antioch Baghdad Road. We'll continue. Do you have... No, you have basic roads. And there is a higher tier of road, isn't there? That we built, like, in the capital and a few other places. Or is the paved road no, no, no. Yeah. The paved road network level 2? Yeah, it is. Highway network. Can we build those yet? No. Okay. When can we actually build those? Can't see. Ah, but I think I can see here. Highway network is 33. Ooh, very close then. Cool. Let's start putting some of those in our major cities to get the uh, production efficiency bonuses. Very nearly annexed our vassal. Excellent news. Okay, we just transport everyone over to Italy and begin the war over there. Uh, gain one corruption, or no. That's quite right, you can gain some autonomy in one province. Far less of a concern to me than 1% uh, increased power costs on everything. You probably aren't surprised to learn this. Cause, cause, cause. Yes, please, Basra. Shame we didn't get a uh, mission to, to take this area, but that's okay. Not the worst thing in the world by any stretch of the imagination. So, Tunis, you're, you're making my borders look horrendous. So once your truce is up, we shall annihilate you. And we shall continue. Well, and before then, Verona. Personal union under Austria. Austria, no serious allies. Okay, big war against Austria. Max loot, because it's not in the Tyrrhenian or downstream of the Tyrrhenian. Fabulous. Everyone hop on the boats. We're going to Italy, boys. Going on holiday. Alright, give me a little spy network in Austria, please. Beautiful. So what's our aggressive expansion in this region down to? France is at zero. France is the, the linchpin of the whole area. They're one of the two people with a decent-sized army. Castile, Milan, France, Netherlands, Austria. It's basically it. Fez with 14,000 is like six on the list. That's embarrassing. Do, do, do. I should raise men from the tribals to increase increase, increase my, uh, my loot amount. Grab these guys if you would. Great. Yeah, big loot war against Austria seems uh, seems perfect. Because this land's pretty weak anyway. It's not that valuable. How's Osmark doing? Hey, they're doing pretty well up there. 8,000 over infrastructure. They've been investing heavily in uh, into their capital, unsurprisingly. How goes institution spread? Still very slow. But, uh, yeah, we should throw down a local university. We need to get that art centre back. Oh, good lord. Okay, lesser nobles and greater nobles, both of my privileges. 30% is not that bad. So I refuse. 30%. Okay, so, uh, you know, some rebellions, but nothing that bad. Bohemia has been reelected. Was it ever Austria? I'm not sure it was. Wow, you've done a lot of, uh, a lot of them there reforms there, Bohemia. Cool. Maybe in our, uh, in our Italian campaign, we should try and become the Holy Roman Empire. We should try and become the Holy Roman Emperor, that is to say. That could be fun. Playing like a 
you know, there's lots of republics in Italy. We could try an imperial Italy run. Because when you form Italy, you become uh, a kingdom anyway. I think that's not optional. Of course, I could code it and make it optional. Wouldn't be that hard. And coding is probably an exaggeration of what I'd be doing. I can tinker <laughs> and make that optional. Just by adding in another decision that lets you stay a republic. Do do do. Alright. Bump. Mill spending. Swap out whatever it is that needs swapping. Look at all those loyal estates. Just makes you have to get money off them, doesn't it? And stab into all, please. And you can have some of that money. And the rest will go into the wonderful road networks. So, Baghdad, we have got it going all the way there. Did we build a road here? Yes, we did. Okay, well, we'll check up here then. Here's a good road, here's a good road, good road, good road, good road. And then, of course, any area I don't, haven't previously owned. I don't think you can use that to visit provinces you don't have cores in. I think. I'm not certain about that, though. Don't need that for. Art Corporation in Samos is complete. I didn't even build that one. I don't think. Cool. Oh, no, you can. Nice. Okay, roads, please. And here. Just takes a little while. Hand it over. Hey, Sicily has been integrated. Give me that manpower back. Don't need the box. Don't need galleys. Single trade ship seems fine. Great, so our trade power shall be increasing. Wow, it's up to 83 ducats. What on earth? It was at 63 just like one episode ago. I guess that's partly the increased pull we have now in the east. Persia and the Straits of Hormuz are now pouring their wealth into our mighty empire. That's spectacular. How much control do I have here in my trade ships? <laughs> 80%, that's great. Look at that. Roman Italy, now a mighty, mighty area. Uh, we don't need a fort here. Lots more area to convert, of course, because they were 100% reformed. You shouldn't be needlessly suffering attrition. Obviously, our little infa infinite rebels are just still sitting there suffering attrition. You guys can uh, just hang out here in case of rebellion. Break glass. Roads, please. I don't know if you can do it more than once, one at a time. I figure, just don't risk it. Build roads. Roads. Superb. Okay, and the port... Still needs upgrading. Requires Great City Hall, which is this one. So we'll start working towards that. Might as well also start on the uh, the eastern, the southern road infrastructure project going down here. Running road all the way down here, I guess. Hmm. Okay. That seems good. I think I will build the city hall here. We're getting ready to build a better port there. Marvellous. Okay. Uh, hey, Friuli. You're allied to um, Milan, so I'll deal with you in a different war. What do we need to take? Just this whole region. Okay. Uh, we'll go with Verona first, I think. They are under Austria. Rothberg will join. Oh, no. Bohemia is actually going to decline. Fantastic. Okay, show superiority. And we are indeed superior. Strongly encourage looting. Excuse me? Why can't I... Hello? Ah, they control the season. Well, we can't have that, can we? Locked by Hostile Fort? Ah, this one. You need a siege leader. The best one available. All the rest of them just move up into good reinforcement positions. Manufactory! Nice! Our burgers actually built a manufactory. Nice. How much are we making now? 44 goods produced. That's crazy. That's gone up a lot. It was at nine. My lord. I will invest the money. I want to get another idea group. And I have a lot of coring I want to do. We're, we're swimming in it right now in terms of cash. Because of the... Uh, they've hired the Milanese army, I see. Let's slow things down. Let's do this properly. Bring up this army. Do, do, do. And transport these guys across, the extra ones. Three armies, four armies rather, sieging Austria is more than enough. So 
so you can just ferry these guys across. Okay, and you guys should be able to move now. Yes, indeed. Let's get these sieges done. Fabulous. We really don't want them to be able to loot any of our land. Should be able to get access to any uh, any country that has Kandatiari hired to your enemies, in my opinion. But, it's just my opinion. Art Corporation in Hebros. Nice. So they're already an important centre of production, and it's not even a uh, city I've been investing in. It's very nice. Very nice indeed. These guys can quickly get transported down here. Super speed. Beautiful. Okay, but the bulk of this war will take place in the next episode. Until then, thank you ever so much for watching. I do hope to see you again very soon. If you did like the episode, please do give it a like. It helps out a great deal. Bye-bye.